Hey, today we're talking about four tweaks that I have started doing to all my Windows 10 boxes. Let's check it out. Hey there, this is Tom with Tom's Tech Show. And over the decades of using Microsoft Windows, um, there's a few things that really bother me, like when you're remote desktoping into a system over a slow connection and it has to sit there and try and slowly paint the screen and that you know background and stuff is just it's painful it's just really painful but before we get to that let's uh, first if you uh, are out there and you're browsing YouTube and you find a creator that you like then subscribe to them if you head over to my YouTube homepage here um, there everything's in playlists so you can go to entertainment technology maybe some Orville stuff some Disney stuff um, some of the photography things. You know, if there's something that you like, it's all arranged there in a playlist. And I would really love it if you would subscribe to my channel and just like and share, you know, the different videos that you come across. Okay, yes. Yeah, so I've been, you know, connecting into all these Windows boxes for, for many years. And often, like I said, it's over a slow VPN connection. And when I get there, I'm actually connecting to, you know, I'll bring up like a Hyper-V console and then I'll have to remote, you know, then I bring up the console of another box in the Hyper-V, you know, client. And sometimes the time it takes to paint that screen because Microsoft decided, oh, let's be fancy and put an image there. And it's not smart enough to know that, oh, this is Hyper-V. We need to have a blank, as blank and plain a screen as possible to make this remote connection work better. They, all this fancy, crazy images and transparency and all that needs to go away it needs to get out of my way it needs to be off right so i have a computer here that this is the, the screen you get now try connecting to a remote desktop doing this when the screen is set like this it would take you know over a slow link it's going to take you know forever and then i got to hit the space bar and then it see it blurs the background so the time it takes for it to go from that to blurring the background, like slowly blurring the back. Oh my gosh. I want to go find some of these Microsoft people who develop this stuff and you just want to slap them. You just want to say, do you know, do you not use this stuff? Do you, do you not know what you're doing to people? Especially the IT people when we're trying to connect into things and to do things. Okay, so for some reason this is being slow logging in, but anyway, okay, so what we need to do is go to regedit, because we're going to be adding some registry settings, and now it's not loading regedit, come on, come on Microsoft, I know you can do it, again, apps, registry editor, Okay, here we go. We got our registry editor coming up. Okay, all right. So one thing that we want to do is we want to take and disable the logon background image. Please go away. So we take and go to this key. H key, local machine, software policies, Microsoft. Don't worry about remembering all of this stuff. It's going to be in the description down below. So if I'm going through this kind of fast, don't worry about it. It's all going to be there. You can just copy it into Notepad and name it as Reg and then import it. It'll be fine. Okay, so we're going to policies, Microsoft Windows system, and we're going to create a new D word and this is going to be called disable log on back oops I did this wrong I do this wrong all the time it's not log in it's log on oh, geez. background image and then we're going to set that to a one so that it is disabled thank you okay next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to so that removes that image from there. So now we're going to go to, uh, let's see, H key local machine, 
window, HG Local Machine, Software Policies, Microsoft Windows. And we're going to create a new key called personalization. Now, underneath that key, we're going to create a new value called, D word again, called no lock screen. So this will make it so that when the computer comes up, it doesn't make you have to press the space bar or anything. So it's just going to be right there waiting for you to type your login. Pain in the world, pain and everything. Okay, so next, so the next problem that I always have in Windows, right, is um, when you are, so you just did a bunch of Windows updates or something, and you, okay, the computer has to reboot, and it sits there with that stupid, dumb, little, spinny, whatever thing, give me a freaking status, Microsoft, come on. So we're going to add that. It's not really good. Status doesn't give you a lot of information. It does give you some. So if you go to this software, Microsoft Windows current version policy system, and we add new D word here called verbose status, and set that to one, then when it shuts down, it's going to give you more information about what it's doing. It's not Linux-like where it actually prints out a big list of text list of everything that it's doing when it's starting up and shutting down, which in if Microsoft were smart, they would have a switch that tech people could go, I need this. I don't care about your fancy screens. I don't care about your little spinny wheels. I don't care about that. I want to see what's going on, right? Especially when we're trying to diagnose what's going on in systems. Well, this will help if it's trying to shut down and it's just hanging there. It'll at least tell you kind of what service or something that will be is hanging it up so that you can go find out what that is, disable it, uninstall it, whatever. Okay, so the next one that I'm going to add here is just kind of a simple thing, but often um, when I'm doing things and running things and I'm trying to find out how long something takes, whether it's network-wise or something, and I need to know the seconds, you know, so I can come down and click you know, the, the time and pull that up and watch this, the time here where it has the seconds. But, you know, if I click anything else, then it goes away. I'm not able to view the seconds anymore. So we're going to go to current user software, Microsoft Windows, current version, Explorer, advanced. And underneath there, we're going to create a new D word value called, I don't want to type this in, called show seconds in system clock. And we're going to set that to one. Okay. Now that we've added all of these, of course, uh, some of them you have to log out and log back in, but these, some of these you have to actually reboot. So we're going to click and we're going to reboot the system. Okay. So while that's going on, um, so many of these things Microsoft has put into, you know, I, I really hate, I mean, I, I would, when I installed like Windows 7, I was able to go back to like almost the Windows XP style interface, right? Where it was just very plain, very basic and, you know, nothing else on it. And that's what I really wish we could get to Microsoft. Just nothing. I don't care about, you know, theming or anything else. Some people do, but a lot of people in IT, we just don't really care at all. Okay, so we come up. There's no image. There's no spacebar hitting. There's nothing. It just goes boom. It's right here. And I get to type my password. Boom. Done. So now we're into, into the system. It just seems, it seems to also come up faster because it's not manipulating that image all over the place. Down here, I have my, my seconds down here in the bottom in my system clock. I can see the, the seconds and everything. So just a cleaner way to connect, cleaner way to log in, and, and keep things going. All right, what else did we do? We did, oh, the verbose status. Okay, so let's test that here real quick. So we're going to shut down, and we're going to restart. So now 
instead of just saying restarting, see now it's it's coming up. This is pretty quick, but it said this service is stopping, this service is stopping, this is going on, and then when we reboot, it's also going to show a bit more information for us for about what's going on. It's not like the law used to have in Windows 7, you know, the, the log where it shows actually typing out what things it's loading in kind of a safe mode, you know, thing, which I really wish we could do with Windows. See, now it's giving me more information here on the screen about what's happening and what's going on and getting ready and, and everything else. So that is really good, especially when you're using like a server, something and different systems are shutting down and starting up and what's hanging it, what's keeping it from starting. That is really important. And these settings should not be deep in, you know, the, the registry. These for technical people, these should be surfaced, right? Right out in the front. All right, well, that's my latest tweaks that I do to my Windows 10 machines. Um, it's been helpful to be able to get those and find them and do a lot of research online and, and get all those and kind of put them together. Like I said, I will have the list of everything posted in the comments down below. You can pick those out and paste them into... It would be a whole list. You can just paste it into Notepad and be able to just save that, rename the file to .reg, and then you can import that into your own registry, and boom, you'll have all the settings without having to run regedit and, and all those things. So that will be a lot easier for you. All right. Well, thanks, everybody, for liking, sharing, subscribing, and everything, and enjoying my journey on YouTube all along the way. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care.